Right, so we're here. I'm ranting and raving at the internet. What's actually happening is I'm standing in a room, talking to a camera, praying to God someone's listening. That got deep. Girls, we run this mother dick. Sienna Miller walked away from a play that she was meant to star in um, because she found out she was being paid less, depending on the source that you listen to, she was either being paid half or slightly less than half, I know so much better, than her male counterpart. Bear in mind it's a two-man play. Charlie's Throne ended up um, orchestrating a pay rise of, a, of about, no not about, it was 10 million quid. 10 million, because it was that, that was the gap between her and Chris Hemsworth in Snow White and the Huntsman. The response from the head was really, really weird. The emails got leaked, Theron found out about it and um, took action. And then when the head obsessed about it, she turned around and said, yeah, but um, female stars really only have themselves to blame when it comes to this massive gap because, quote, I run a business, I'm not gonna go back, once they've negotiated, once female stars have negotiated, you know, their pay, I'm not then gonna go back and ask them, uh, if they uh, would like more money, because she runs a business. I understand that, but the reason that men get paid more at this stage is because they're taught that they are entitled to argue for more. Women aren't told that we're meant to, or that we're even allowed to, demand more for what we do, even if it's using the same skill set as our male counterparts. We just, we're not told. We're told to be demure, but I find it baffling that a woman would stand up, a CEO would stand up and say, I'm going to actively pay you less than your co-star because you didn't ask for more money. Which is fine until you're only doing it to a woman. If she turned around and gone, right, we've got Robert Downey Jr. on one side of the camera, Mark Ruffalo on the other. But one of them didn't argue for more money, so I'm going to bring it down. But it keeps happening to women in with respect to men. If it were happening to men as well, I'd be like, okay, well, okay, that's kind of what well, have a chat about it. But because it's always women, it it just it just proves that we're expected to sort of roll over and take whatever we can get. Now, all right, when you're talking about a gap of ten million pounds, when you're talking about that, it sounds a bit absurd because it's millions of pounds. And that's like 0.0001% of society that have managed to, you know, this is this very, very special group of celebrities. For, regardless of how much Johnny Depp gets paid for the next thousand years, he will be absolutely, his great, great, great grandchildren will not have to work, probably. But imagine what that means for creatives on the lower end of the spectrum. Imagine what that means for chorus girls, chorus members, who are living hand to mouth. What chance have the underdogs got? If people at the top of the food chain don't talk, we get affected. It's dispiriting and it's worrying, mainly because there are so many artists out there, and young female artists as well, who are not taught from an early age that you can demand things. You can. The problem, but the problem with that is that if you walk into a, into negotiations, and you start asking for more, you're immediately called. Um, you know, you, you get called a bitch. You get called. You get. You get called a whole string of things that men just don't have to deal with. Despite the fact that it's a massive industry that most people haven't got access to, we still allow it to run our lives. We still, we're still so affected by the, the, the few elite that whatever happens there is going to affect us in some way, shape or form. If the box offices are raking in billions and billions of pounds, it's because we're consuming it. I have a request for you. If you feel passionate about the gender pay gap, we'll be discussing this and many more feminist issues on Style Live, our four-day festival of talks and workshops. Talk I will put a link in the description box below. Um, but go to this panel if you, if you want to see professionals talking about how this is going to affect your lives, our lives, and the future of women in the arts in general. Please, please, please go see that. Vlog about it, write about it. Thank you so much for listening. I will see you later on. Bye!